What's up, gentlemen? So have you ever wondered what I eat on a weekly basis to stay lean and maintain my muscle mass? If the answer is yes, you're going to love today's video. I'm going to go over what I eat for a week, a weekly snapshot as to what goes in this big mouth of mine. The key for me in terms of dieting is the preparation aspect of it, planning and preparation. I suck when it comes to winging a diet. And so for me, the most important day of the week is actually Sunday. So let's shop. One of the downsides of eating healthy is that it can be expensive especially buying fresh meat and so one of the staples in my diet is is chicken and fish most of the time it's either salmon or tilapia so once a month I'll actually take a trip stock up and today we're at Costco. Costco has the best prices on fresh chicken, fish, and so what I'll do is once a month I'll actually come and I'll stock up. I'll buy a bunch and actually cook what I need for the week and then I'll freeze the rest of it. I'm grabbing two packs of salmon. I'm also going to grab two packs of the skinless, boneless, organic chicken breast. They've got organic quinoa, four and a half pounds, ten dollars. You really can't beat it. Um, this stuff is pretty expensive when you go to like a Whole Foods or a regular grocery store and I eat it sort of like in replacement of rice or a sweet potato. It's a seed, but it's got a low glycemic index, it's high in protein, low in sugar, and it's actually pretty tasty. It kind of tastes like whatever you cook it with, and it's awesome. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> All right, guys, so I spent 125 bucks in Costco, but I got a month's worth of chicken and salmon along with my quinoa. Now it's time to head to the grocery store and grab some of my other staples. Apples, avocados, sweet potatoes. I also grab five or six of these pre-packaged bag salads. I love these because I don't end up wasting anything. Some egg whites and oatmeal. Once I get home, then it's all about prepping and cooking the food for the week. This week I'm doing salmon, whole side of salmon, along with I took two really large chicken breasts and filleted them. Now it's time to hit the grill. It's time to make the quinoa. Make quinoa very similarly to rice. Sunday's also the day that I make my blue apron. I've talked about Blue Apron before. I did a video entitled How to Cook Like a Gent. There I featured Blue Apron. I actually took you through the cooking process. I'll link to that video down in the description. Ever since that video, I've been hooked. Three times a week, I will actually make a Blue Apron meal in order to add a little variety into my diet and life. If you want to check them out, there's a special link down below along with an amazing offer. For the first 100 people to actually go to the link down below and to sign up, they're going to give you three meals off your first order. And I'm telling you, these guys are ridiculous in terms of what they actually do. And I fell in love. And the reason is because in each box, they're going to give you three super sexy pictures and all recipe cards. All right. All of the meals are super healthy. They are between like 500 and like 800 calories per person. Um, they've got two different plans. They've got like a two person plan, which I signed up for and a family plan. The other cool thing is that in each box, they send you locally grown and sourced amazing ingredients that are super fresh. And the other cool thing is that they give you just enough. So if, if one of the recipes calls for cilantro, they give you enough cilantro. The idea is that you're not going to waste anything. There's nothing sexier to a woman than a guy who knows his way around the kitchen. I don't necessarily consider myself to know my way around, but I'm able to be dangerous. And Blue Apron has been helping. Today I'm going to be doing this bad boy, the ribeye with spicy vegetable hash. Prep time is typically around 10 to 15 minutes and the total cook time is only like 20 to 30 and so you can make these awesome meals super quick check it out if I can do it so can you that was freaking delicious all the blue apron meals are to be honest guys if you want to check it out there is a link down below special link there is no commitment you can cancel anytime and there is always free shipping back to my weekly diet like I said before it's all about planning and being prepared first thing in the morning I always do fasted cardio seven days a week when I'm finished I eat breakfast I alternate between a third of a carton of those egg whites that I scramble and I throw in half an avocado I'll also eat a piece of fruit and then the next day I go chocolate oatmeal. Half a cup of oats, cup of water, 
And then what I'm going to add is a scoop of protein, two teaspoons of chia seeds. I get these from Whole Foods. Half a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa, two teaspoons of flax seeds. And mix it up. And delicious. I'll also eat a piece of fruit with my chocolate oatmeal. Typically breakfast is going to be between 10 and 11 a.m. My next meal is around 3 p.m. and typically I will eat a chicken or salmon salad like this. I call this my power salad. I take about a half a cup of plain quinoa, add one piece of salmon, half of an avocado, Scoop it out. I add a bag of salad. Just season it with some rice wine vinegar or red wine vinegar. It is absolutely delicious. And mix it up. And enjoy. And then around 6 p.m., prior to going to the gym to lift weights, I will have a protein bar or protein shake. After the gym, I'll come home, get a shower, and then three nights a week, I'll do something like the Blue Apron. The other three to four nights a week, I will eat either a chicken breast or a piece of fish, a sweet potato, or quinoa. I'll also throw in some more vegetables, like roasted Brussels sprouts are delicious, asparagus is fantastic, or broccoli, which is I. And seven nights a week after dinner, I'll have some type of low-calorie ice cream, because it's delicious. And that's it. That's what I eat on a day-to-day, week-by-week basis. Now, I used to eat a lot more red meat. I still will have red meat on occasion, but I found that once I hit 40, it was a lot easier to stay lean eating chicken and fish. I personally don't measure anything, and I've got absolutely no idea what my macros are, but I've been doing this a really long time, and this diet works for me. I'm not trying to get any bigger or gain a lot of muscle. I've been there, done that, and really, right now, it's all about feeling good good and looking good with my shirt off. In terms of seasoning, what I'll use is salt, pepper, I use a lot of fresh herbs, lemon, also the vinegar that I use on my salad is absolutely delicious and you save a lot of calories as opposed to using things like ranch dressing. I also love Frank's hot sauce along with sriracha is delicious and ketchup, you can't go wrong with ketchup. Guys, here's the deal. It doesn't take a whole lot of, of fancy meals or preparation. You just gotta once a week commit to yourself to make what you need for the week. Portion it out, have things prepared the night before because the minute you try to just wing it is the minute your diet craps the bed.